Hello YouTubers, welcome back to Yorkshire 66. I am Mark, your host, your, well, entertainment officer basically. You know what I mean? I'm here for another exciting video. Now, it's not going to be a video what you're expecting. It's not going to be a walk around like I am, because I've done with all them videos now. Um, I was asked a, qu a question a couple of days ago. Would I, and this is what I was asked, and it came off a um, Facebook group, basically. And I was asked, would I date a religious woman who was into religion? My first thought at that was, no. That was my first reaction. No, I, I wouldn't. Because I am not religious myself. But I got talking to some people. And I, I'm out and about. And I just kind of sit down and join them and says, yeah. And they happened to be talking about yeah, you know, you know, I want this, I want, you know, I want my woman like this. And I says, do you mind if I interact with you? They says, no, 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 we don't, man. And then when they turned towards me, I thought, oh, my God. <laughs> the vicars, yeah, they are all the, the men of cloth, yeah. C of A, basically. And I says, um, so what are you talking about? And, and they said, well, we're talking about dating and that, you know what I mean? Because, yeah, you know, I've got a job. I said, well, yeah, I can see that, because you're a vicar, eh? He says, well, yeah. And, you know, all four of them was. And uh, they were talking, and, and, and they are just, just generally talking about women, basically, because they wanted to date a woman, so, you know what I mean? And I says, well, you must have plenty of choice within your congregation in your church. And I said, yeah, but we don't want a woman who's religious. I thought, hey? I said, hang on a minute, so you want... An outsider. He says, yeah. We don't want... Uh. So they don't want a woman who goes to church, basically. And I said, well, no. Who don't take religion serious? No. No, we don't. And I'm thinking, why? Why is that? Because, you know, into... You know, I mean, I'm not stereotyping. I, I said this. I said, I don't want to stereotype or pigeonhole. But, in the, you know, you know, don't it take a woman of, of some great stature to... To go out with a vicar, and I says, well, I don't understand that. I says, because it's understanding, it's understanding between the two faiths. You have to be compatible. And they were, was, all oh, right. And I says, really? I says, I was asked this question on Facebook, and, and my first reaction was, no, I don't want to go out with a woman who's religious. But when you think about it logically, and you dismantle that conversation, and you think about it logically, and I'm thinking, why should I miss out on a woman? All because of her, you know, because she she's religious beliefs. And I'm thinking, no, 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 no. I'm not going there. So basically, what I basically ended up saying, I'm saying if I went out with a woman of religion, you know, and she were going to church every Sunday, and says, yeah, I says, as long as she understands my opinion and my understanding on my side of things, then everything could be okay. And he says, so what's your understanding? Well, my understanding of religion is it, it's a form of, you know, I mean, I, I went into it. He says, oh, so you see it like that? I go, so yeah, yeah because I do. I said, I says it's a form of slow brainwashing, basically. You get a young kid, you go to Sunday school, you learn about this and this and this. But what you don't realise at the time is they're trying to teach you the Bible as it really happened. And we all know that it's only a story. And says, yeah. And I says, so really, you're going to need a woman who understands, but, you know, yeah. And really, it's going to be a woman who's into religion, basically. But there again, there's plenty of women into religion who don't want to go out with a vicar. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it, it swings and roundabouts and things like that. And they says, oh, no, we don't want a woman who's religious. I think, oh. Yeah, and he was adamant about this. So I said, oh, okay. I says, I says, why not? Well, well, we well, can speak for all of us here. We're all sick and tired of doing some service. <laughs> so I didn't know. I says, so why don't you pass it on to your understudies? I am an understudy. And they all said it at the same time. We are understudies. Thought, all right, I said. So the so so your boss, the main, he says yeah, he does all the 
weddings and yeah and you do all the boat yeah so they do all the sun you know the the everyday sunday sunday services and things like that and main vicar main man he does all the weddings and funerals so you get yeah, you know, me so so it's understandable isn't it <laughs> i says all right i says so what do you want and he says well we all each want to go to a small village and have a small congregation and things like that and I think it'll be more enjoyable. I says somewhere out in country, I says yeah. I says I'm only here for so many years to learn. And I says and then we'll be moved on to our own diocese and things like that. I said, all right. And I says I says I says, I says you blow me away really I says so so you're wanting to date a woman but you don't want her to have religious beliefs. And I says, and I says, well, more or less, yes, yes, we don't want it connected to church if possible. I says, in some cases, it, you can get that. I says, I've known it to happen. I says, but really, why would you rob yourself? I says, think of it, well, yeah, logically. And I says, yeah. I says, you think of it logically. You like shrinking the pool within you. And he says, yeah. I says, you've got a good chance of meeting a woman through the church, really. And, and a woman who would understand. Yeah, but we don't want the pledge. <laughs> I says, oh. So, basically, how they see women who go to church are plain. I says, not all women are like that. And he says, oh, uh, yeah. And he says, how do you know? I says, well, I do. I says, not all women are plain. And, and, and not all women who are not religious are not all there, basically. I says, I can understand it, and me, I don't practice Christian, you know, even though I am baptised as a you know, Church of England, it says, yeah, I don't practice it. I don't practice the C of E religion because I don't agree with it. And and they understand all this, and I'm thinking, and I says, are you trying to tell me if you don't get what you want, you're going to leave? And it says, no, 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 no. It says, we won't do that. It says, we'd have to go where we go. It says, but... If a community wanted a younger vicar, I says, yeah, and, then, and it was a small community, then I would prefer that. I goes, all oh, right. I, and they all said the same. And, and they're all young. They're all about, I, I mean, I didn't ask how old they were. And I would honestly say no older than 25. You know what I mean? But that's their point of view and things like that. And I was, so, so I, I said, how long have you been, you know, doing this? And they've been... Doing, you know, wanting to become a vicar since they were 16 years old. You know what I mean? So it takes a gradual step, basically. But it will happen. You know what I mean? I, I says, just up and pray that, you, you know, the main vicar of, of the church where you are does not die because if he does, they'd expect you to take over. I says, well, I never thought of that. <laughs> I said, well, it, it could happen. And I says, yeah, it, it, it really could. But they wanted a small community and things like that, and I'm thinking, oh right, yeah. So they don't want a big, a, a, a big community church or things like that. Oh, I don't know why, because they have their own ideas of teaching the Bible, and some other their ideas were, were like, you know, really out of the thinking, out of the side of the box. You know what I mean? Really, you know what I mean? And and really, you know, it might, it it, it might not help their course basically but they were like thinking outside the box thinking about well religion is religion it's boring i says well it can be i said because you reading the same sermons over and over and over again he says that's where i want to be different he says yes i understand the sermons like like easter and things like that have to be read I says yeah but why can't we do as our own sermons what fit in today's society and i'm thinking well you're right you've got a good idea here so then you want a woman what fits in with today's society, with the church. And he says, you got it. I says, okay, <laughs> okay, I've got it there. But she'd have to be religious it for today's society. He says, that will come later. And I think, oh, God. I says, it might not matter. It might not. You might end up marrying a, an atheist. He says, don't care. I mean, I won't, you know, you know they don't push, you know, I don't, you know, I, I don't push my religion onto anybody else. I was christened C of E, but I'm a spiritualist by choice. Um, I used to go to spirit, you, know, you know, National Spiritualist Church at Wakefield and things like that. And, and I tell them all this and I says, all right, 
I says in I says in reality, that's the true 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 church of Christ. Is is the spiritual church. And they say, Well it can't be. I said, Well it is. Because really when you read the story of Jesus, it says yeah, he healed he healed the sick. That's spiritualism. Oh. Which it is. It's not a, a physical healing. You know, you know, you lay his hands on it and you feel better. See, something similar to that. It, it's a spiritual healing. It's healing with inside yourself and things like that. That's how I see it. And, and, and the bonus is we can communicate with the spirit world. I say, all right. Yeah, you know, there's no evidence. It's, it's just the spirit world. And that's what we call it in the spiritualist community church. Simple as. <laughs> yes, we do get people who are fake and things like that, but that's how it happens. And obviously, they were telling me, oh, well, we get fake priests in, in our religion. I says, I says, well, you will do. You know what I mean? And think, but yeah, they're on about dating a woman who, 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 who wasn't religious or from that community. And I'm thinking, well, it could work. I says, you might find it hard, but why would you rob yourself of that? You know what I mean? Because now, if anyone asks me, yeah, if a woman came up to me, well, I'm religious, I go to church every Sunday, but I want to go out here. I says, well, as long as you understand I am not religious, and I tell them I believe, I'm like, oh, okay. You know, I'll go to your church if you come to my church. It's as simple as that. It's that kind of understanding. So logically, I'm not going to rob myself. If a woman comes up to me and says, well, yeah, I am, I am religious, I go to church every Sunday, religiously, fine. Fine. As long as I come talk and she under, and she respects my opinion, I respect her opinion. That's how it should be, and it's as simple as that. As long as you can put up with me, because not many people who, not many people can, not many people understand where I come from. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I am complicated, basically. Um, I do have complications, but complications in such a way, it's down to me. It's down to medical and things like that. But at the end of the day, I look fit and healthy, which I am. I am fit and healthy. It's just that, uh, yeah, it's the way it is. So, yeah, would you go out with a woman who has religious beliefs? Like I said, my first answer was no. But now, thinking it, of it and using logic, yeah, I would go out with a woman of religious beliefs. Of course, would. It's, it's the way she was brought up. It can't be, it can't be helped. You know what I mean? Um, but I don't know many women like that <laughs> who go religiously to church. I, I don't know anyone like that at all. So, and I was telling these that, I said, I said, I don't know a lot of women who go to church. He says, full of it, where they practice. I thought, all right. But I just happened to sit down with them, and, and there were four of them, four vicars. I couldn't believe it. They're all men at, men at club, discussing dating. <laughs> I said, why don't you set up a CV dating site <laughs> through, you know, church? You know what I mean? Do it through the church and dating site. I said, it might work, it might not. It, it needs setting up properly, but it could work. And I left that with him and, and I said, it's nice talking to you, it really is. Uh, and that way, and, you know, that's how that discussion ended. And I thought, weird. And it, and it was weird in a way, but in another way, Got enlightenment from it as well. I mean, I mean, I understand their point of view, but and they understand my point of view. So God knows what will happen. Only time will tell on things like that. But having four vicars who saying that they don't want a woman who's religious or who believes in God, you know, what I mean, they they want something different. I'm thinking that's going to be hard. But because not all women are want to go out with vicars and things like that, you know. What I mean? You know, priests or whatever you want to call them, things like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know I mean, it, it, it'll take a, a certain woman and a certain woman's understanding about that. You know what I mean? But you never know. But like I said, it could come out at blue. That yeah, you could be going out with somebody, and you won't know their religious beliefs until you get to know them. And then they said, "Well, that's true." I said, "So your plan really might not work." But there you go. Yeah, you know I mean, it, but if you want to. Do a dating site for for, for 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 single vicars. Do it through the church. I think the church, yeah, you know, yeah, church, yeah, you know, a benefit. And this is what you mean, church, your benefit, charge. 
Most dating sites charge, charge. But you, 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 you just say to the bishop that all the money from this site will go back into the church. It should work. But there you go. That's all, how, how I put it to the learning kid. So, there you go. So, yeah. So, that happened. Well, well it happened, <laughs> it happened quite a couple of days ago, actually. I, I was doing a bit more research on it and... Yeah, I mean, Church of England doesn't really, really, really disapprove of how they're going to do things. And I don't think they would disapprove of moving forward through, through online dating and things like that. But if they did, they did. I, I mean, yeah, I mean, well, you know, you know, you know, Church of England interfere in everything. So there you go. So, so that's what happened to me. And really, I just sat down to rest. And then when I heard them all about dating, I thought, hey, you know, and then the turn and that I, I realised that they were priests and vicars and things like that. You know, I think they're priests, aren't they? So, you know, a priest. A very young priest. But with very much understanding, you know, and, and maturity about it as well. Yeah, I mean, they're not going into it blind or all like that. But I says, it's, yeah, I says, w when you find somebody, you'll come out of blue and I think it'll come within your church. And things like that. And I told them all four of these. I'm like, all oh, right. So that's what you think. I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I says, I said, I've known women to go to church because they fancy it, Vicar. He says, you joke? I said, no. I says, I've seen them do that. You know, now, I've heard of them stories, literally. So, yeah. So, that that was a, that is a discussion what I had with four vicars or four priests or whatever. So, would you date a woman? Or a man who has real religious beliefs. Me? Yes, I would. I would date a woman with religious beliefs. Depends how far they take it and things like that. And, and you know, not a lot of women out there are. Ah, but, but would you? Would you date a man or a woman who has religious beliefs? That's what it, how it were put to me. Logically, I'm not going to rob myself. I'm not going to shrink the pool or shrink the sea. You know, and, and, and start steady or, or pigeonholing women. I'm not going to do that. You know what I mean? If a woman wants to sit down with me and get to know me properly, that's the perfect woman for me, in my own mind. It's as simple as that. Or if any one, or if anyone wants to be my friend, I'm not going to sit down and get to know me properly, like my mate Kevin has, like Wayne's doing now. York's like, he's getting to know me. Tony's getting to know me. And things like that, you know, we have a lot in common, um, and things like that, you know, and a lot of built, you know. So, yeah, I mean, so if anyone wants to do that and generally be, be my friend and sit down and get to know me and, and not take the mick or ridicule me, then fine, then you're welcome to talk to me, you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, so I'll put that in, you know, there'll, there'll be a, a decent thumbnail we across, I think. And what I'll do is, I'll put it down. Would you date a man or a woman who who has religious beliefs? Strong re religious beliefs, basically. Uh, yes, I would. Uh, I, I would definitely. But I would explain that I'm not religious myself. I don't take religion serious. I really don't. Um, I take what I do serious, um, because it is serious, because... We've been a spiritualist, and going to spiritualist church, people, when they go there, they're looking for answers, basically. I've been there loads of times, and they are looking for answers, and, and sometimes they don't get the answer what they want, sometimes they do. If anyone comes to me for, for like, advice on, on, like, well, I'm thinking of committing suicide, then I'll talk, I'll talk to them, and I'll say, well, why do you want to do this? You know, your life is, is worth more than that. So I do take my side of it and the way I do things, especially on, on, on YouTube, my mental health, people think, <laughs> well, it's a bit of fun. <laughs> no, not really. Not when I do my mental health journey. It's, it's not fun at all. It's not fun to have mental health. But that's how some people see it. So, yeah. So there you go. The four vicars who want a woman who is not religious. You're going to find that very hard. And I honestly think <coughs> when they get their own congregation of the, or, or, or in charge of their own church and they haven't understood it, I honestly think 
it will come within that community. That's what I believe. I, I strongly believe that. But if they do find someone outside of that community, that would be a strange one. How does a non-religious person, you know, accept to live in a vicarage? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I suppose if, if she loves that particular person, then she would. And and she, and, but she'd have to know the rules, what she can and can't do. And this is why I say women with religion do understand them rules. Won't be out, won't. But there you go. There is rules and regulations to everything nowadays. So I hope you've enjoyed this. A bit of uh, chat, you know, Sunday morning chat. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Please, if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Please like the video. Please subscribe if you're new. It's free to subscribe at any time. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know, just give it, you know, just hit subscribe. It, it doesn't charge you. It's the only thing what is free nowadays, really. Uh, yeah, so, so, subscription. So, please subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell icon and hit all that. will let you know. When I'm putting up another video, uh, please share the video to other social media and, and out of space as well if you want. You, know, you can share it to International Space Station if you want. Um, but yeah, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Bing. Or like I say, you could, you know, Mars, Pluto, International Space Station if you want. Share it to them. And please, comment below. You know, let's have a, you know, a, a discussion about this. I mean, I'm not saying it's a serious discussion, but I think it's a discussion worth having. You know what I mean? It really is. You know, would you, you know, date a man or a woman with religious beliefs? See? Yes, I, I, you know, that's my answer. Yes, I would, basically. So there you go. So, I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you have, like I say, like, subscribe, share and comment. And I'll catch you on the next video. Bye. Four. Now, bye.